everyone, this is Suzy Q of Suzy Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room. Hi everyone, so I'm back with Isabella, and the reason I brought her back is because I have um, gotten for her two pair of walking shoes, and um, she right now is wearing these little, um, these cute little summer sandals that I had gotten for my girls quite a while ago, but I wanted to see her in walking shoes. Um, she's also wearing some uh, pretty little socks and a pretty um, little summer dress that was gifted to her um, by her Auntie Shara. And so I, um, I've got a couple of pairs of shoes for her that I wanted to share with you and um, try them on together with you. I haven't tried them on her yet. And so, um, and then also I'm going to be bringing Madeline on. Um, she's my other, uh, she's another large toddler and I got her some shoes and some accessories too. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to meet you over at the changing table in just a few seconds and we will try her new shoes on. So I'm back with Isabella and she is anxious, anxiously awaiting to put on her brand new shoes that I got for her. And um, here's here they are. I got her uh, two pair of uh, walkers. Um, one pair is um, one pair is a white pair, and I'll show you those in just a second. Let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and tilt the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. And there's her cute little white walker shoes, and I can't wait to see her in her walking shoes. Yeah. I really like this brand, Josmo. Um, they make really, really nice shoes. Um, really cute, you know, walkers. And so we're gonna set those aside for now because I'll show you the extra special pair that I found for her. Um, I didn't even know that this color existed in walking shoes. And these are the shoes that I'm going to be changing her into today. And these are pink shoes. Have you ever seen pink walker shoes? Um, let me know if you have, because I mean, I'm not a shoe expert uh, by any means, but um, I have never seen walking shoes in pink. Now I've seen them for little boys in brown and black because I have a, a black pair uh, for my Liam, but um, I have never seen a pink pair and I thought, that this dress, this little summer dress, would look so perfect in these shoes. And so um, I'm gonna go ahead and change her into these shoes right now. And uh, let me see if I, I ho hopefully I won't have to re restring them. Although I might because they kind of, they, they kind of string them funny um, when they come, you know, direct from the manufacturer. But um, let me see if we can put them on without me having to do that. I'm trying to find the other. I'm trying to find the other lace. There it is. All right. See if we can open it up enough. I think I'm going to have to restring them, you guys. So this portion of the video, I'm going to put on fast speed. I'll speed it up so that you don't have to wait for me to uh, take 10 minutes to restring the shoes and um, I will be back uh, right back at normal speed. Okay, we uh, were finished with restringing the shoes. And um, I'll tell you what, after all that work, I certainly hope that they fit. Now I measured her feet um, and I, um, 
uh, you know, uh, compared her measurement to the measurements um, on the site that I bought these shoes and uh, it should be right. So let's just take a look and see. Let's just take a look and see. And I'm now thinking that I am going to get, um, I'm going to get her a light pair. Uh, oh no, she can wear these. I was thinking a light pair, a light pink pair of um, socks, but I think these will work just fine. So crush your fingers, everybody. Let's just hope that these slide right on. So uh, undo the la laces a little bit. You know, these are leather shoes and so they don't have any stretch. Um, the more that you wear and use leather shoes, the easier they are to, uh, to work with. So let's pop her foot in. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. I guess I have to open the... Um, I'm trying to... There we go. Yeah, I had to, I had to open the, the laces quite a lot. Um, to get these shoes on. So I'm going to turn her around like this so that I can um, get them tied up properly. And I'm going to be very careful not to hit my microphone. Now what makes it kind of challenging too is the way that her legs are kind of splayed out like they are, you know. Um, they're not like right in front of her. They're kind of like, you know, out. <laughs> so it makes it kind of awkward um, to do things from this uh, from this end, but we are trying our best with this uh, cute little walking girl. This little she's not a walker; she's a standing girl. Yeah, she is. Okay, let's try the other foot. And I know now that I have to open the shoe up, kind of loosen the laces real much. And she is uh, fitting right into a size two and a half. Yes, she is. Um, let's see if I can turn her around and you can see what I'm doing. I'll bring up my Susie Q pillow. So she has something, something to lean against while we get her shoes all tied up. So thank you for your patience, you guys. I know that this seems kind of tedious but I wanted to um, I wanted to show you her new shoes and try them on and um, so yeah I think she looks really cute in them I'll go ahead and stand her up let me fix her legs again her legs have to be um, they don't just slide into position they have to be like manually put into position because of the fact that she, you know she's a standing doll and they're a little bit uh, more stiffer um, than like a baby doll that, uh, that isn't. <laughs> um, but there she is. There's her shoes. And I think she looks darling in them. And she's, she's going to look darling in her, um, in her white shoes too. Just wanted to bring her legs out just a little bit more. Like that. There we go. See, she's got one straight leg and one sort of, one sort of bent leg. Yeah. And that's just the way she rolls. <laughs> yes. She wants to show off. She wants to show off this shoe. That's why she's got a, that's why she's straight legging us. <laughs> but um, anyway, I think they're really cute. They'll go with a lot of her cute, um, her little summer outfits and, and summer dresses and stuff. So, and um, I think these will too. In fact, these would look really good with this dress too, but I wanted to, um, to show you her pink shoes because they are so very unique. Okay, so next I'm gonna bring Madeline on and I'll show you the, um, I'll show you her, uh, her brand new shoes and also um, a couple of, um, outfit things that I got for her. So we'll we'll go ahead and put this little one back and I'll bring Madeline right on for you. Okay, so here we have sweet Madeline and I brought her on video um, recently. Um, she is wearing her uh, cute uh, summer dress that was gifted to her by um, by our Auntie Shoe Fairy Jan Binkley. <laughs> and so um, we really love this dress on her. 
Um, it's super, super cute. Um, but the thing about uh, little Miss Madeline is she did not have any, and let me just direct the camera down, she did not have any little summer shoes to wear. So I, I did end up finding these shoes, patent leather shoes, and they sort of are summery. Um, you know, they have these little cutouts and stuff and um, this little uh, ridge, this little ruffled ridge around the, the top. But I think that these are more dress shoes. So I, um, I found some um, sort of, oh, casual, uh, casual, nice um, summer shoes for her to wear. And um, they are right down here. And I got her two pair. Um, the, the challenging thing with Madeline is that um, with her feet, um, her feet are, they are, sh you know, kind of short. But the problem is, is that they have, this is called the instep. The instep is really, really wide. So she can't wear a, a super small, like a just fitting shoe for her foot. So um, I ended up uh, you know, looking for the right size, and I believe that these will uh, work for her. Um, this is one of the pairs that I got, and they're sort of, um, I just thought they were so cute with the cutout hearts and the, um, the little uh, shiny little, um, these are like patent leather bows, and they Velcro right here, and um, these are size, uh, well, I, I don't know, size 22. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but um, anyway, I thought these are super cute. And they would go with summer clothes, summer dresses. And then also, um, I found these, which I thought were cute as well. And the bottom is rubbery, and so they're kind of difficult to take out. But um, yeah, these are super cute too. Let me get my scissors. There's a little, there's a little tag thing here. Let's take this out. And then here's these shoes. And I thought that these were really, really cute. Uh, little, they could go with her summer shorts, um, her summer, you know, capris, whatever. They're super cute summer shoes, and she did not have any, like I said. So, um, but between these two, um, I was thinking more of these might work, but then these have flowers on them, and they're sort of like sandals. So, um, I was kind of torn in between, um, you know, which... Uh, which ones to put on her. Um, gosh, first I didn't have anything and now I just don't know what to do. But I think I'm going more with these because of the fact that they have these uh, 3D cutout flowers and she's got flowers all over her summer dress. And so let's just go ahead and, and go with these. Okay, and we'll put those on her in just a moment. But the other thing that I wanted to show you that I had gotten for her, um, I don't re know if you recall, uh, you probably don't recall when I was dressing her, um, she, do she didn't have any um, sleeveless um, undershirts or, you know, sleeveless onesies to wear. And so I got these, um, which I think are really cute. I've, I've purchased this um, style before. And these are Simple Joys by Carter, size six to nine months. And um, what they are is they are a, um, they're a onesie and they have lace around the edging and around the, um, the sleeve, the sleeveless, the armholes, I guess you would call it. So yeah, and I got them and I got two packages because my other big girls can wear these as well. So here's a, a pretty yellow. Here's a pretty flowers. Oh, that's a pretty blue, like a periwinkle blue. Oh, there's some watermelons. <laughs> and then there's another, um, there's another pink one. Or is that the original pink one? That's probably the original pink one that I showed you. So yeah, so we have um, Sweet Madeline is all set up now with her, um, her shoes and her under things and um, what I'm going to do now is let's go ahead and try her shoes on. Yeah, really excited to see how these fit. Oh, they're perfect, you guys, they're perfect. 
Yep. They sure are. They just, they fit around. Whoops. Now don't go anywhere, Madeline. <laughs> don't be falling backwards on me. I'm going to bring her up a little bit so she can have something to lean up against. And I'll bring the camera down for you. So yeah. There we go. They just fit so nicely. Now, they fit, uh, like I said, the top part of her foot is very thick. And so her toe really only comes, it comes to about an, uh, an inch away from here. But um, that's what we have to do with Madeline in order to get her into a pair of shoes. They have to be a little bit longer in order to fit around her uh, what, what, what I told you was called an instep, the very top of her shoe. So, so yeah, these are going to work out really, really nicely. I have another pair of shoes, um, one more pair of summer shoes coming for her too. They're arriving really, they are li arrived separately from these and they're, they're kind of late. But, um, so yeah, let's go ahead and pick her up and you can see, and I think those shoes go super cute with this outfit. So yeah, we have some, finally we have some summer shoes for this one. And um, because of the size that they are, uh, my big girl, my other big girls, um, big toddlers can wear these too. So um, it's really neat to be able to, uh, you know, have the girls all share uh, clothes and, um, and shoes and things like that. It's very handy. Um, so, and I wanted to real quick and share with you too, um, I've been out for, uh, almost a week not doing videos. And, um, the reason is, is because I have had, uh, well, there's a couple of things that have kind of kept me preoccupied. Um, remember the ear situ situation, my left ear being deaf. Well, it's still deaf. Um, but this week I went to a, um, ear, nose and throat specialist. Um, I got a, uh, they gave me a hearing test and um, they looked in my ears and all that. And um, they diagnosed, the, the ENT um, diagnosed it as a, um, a virus that attacked a nerve inside of my ear and not the Eustachian tube, it, it attacked a nerve. And, um, and so that's the reason that I can't hear. The hearing test came out that I uh, in fact, when they did the hearing test, I barely could hear anything at all at any time. Just barely. I think once I heard some noise that they were, you know, that they put in my ear. But other than that, it, it was just dead. So um, he put me on um, a uh, very high strength um, medication that is supposed to uh, take care of that situation. And I'm on the, uh, I started it. Uh, two days ago and I'm going to be on it for two weeks and the first week is the full dose and then the second week is uh, weaning off of the, the strength of it you know you can't just take uh, not take it cold turkey you have to wean off of it so um, that is one thing that's kept me busy the other thing is I um, I've been uh, busy with um, my garden you know uh, picking beans and tomatoes and processing um, the beans and tomatoes and uh, it's just been a super busy week for me and I apologize that I haven't been been on and I've had to have some rest days too in between my um, my doctor's appointments now that last doctor's appointment that I had with my GP um, remember she put me on uh, medication too but that wasn't a strong enough medication and it didn't end up working at all. Um, so yeah, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I'm hoping that this is gonna work and I'll be able to hear out of my, uh, my left ear. Now, I don't have any problems. Um, I don't have any balance problems or uh, getting dizzy or any of that because it's not my eustachian tube, it's a nerve. And so um, thankfully I'm able to um, you know, to do normal activities. So anyway, I just wanted to let you all know that uh, why I haven't been um, on and I do miss you and uh, miss being in contact and connecting with you. So um, I apologize for that. Um, but anyway, everyone, uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing my two big girls and, and their new shoes and, and um, Madeline's new little, um, her little onesie, uh, 
no sleeve uh, onesies. And um, so, yeah, thanks for joining me. I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday today. Um, and uh, thanks for visiting. And until we meet again, bye bye from me and sweet Madeline and Isabella, who's standing on the floor right now. Bye bye.